With the latest release of Unreal Engine, Epic finally implemented proper support for the M1 and M2 chips. The ARM native version now runs directly from the Epic Games launcher, making the painstaking process of building the editor from source a thing of the past. But how good is it? Can you really use Unreal on a MacBook? Let's find out. Now before we talk about performance, there are a few things to consider. First, Nanite does not work. If you want to use Nanite, you have to use Windows, as it is currently not supported on Mac. For me personally, this is not a big deal, but if you were hoping for Nanite support on Mac, this does not seem to be a thing Epic is working on. Second, Lumenworks hardware ray tracing does not. Now Lumen has actually been supported since version 5.0, but in version 5.1 and 1.1 it wasn't reliable, it didn't really work. In version 5.2 it does work, even though this is only a preview release. Before we take a look at frames per second, a quick disclaimer. Most people use Unreal on a Full HD monitor, which by today's standards is, yeah. I mean, sure, it's great for gaming and that's all right, but if you are into filmmaking or creating art or whatever, you should probably use a 4K monitor. Needless to say that the performance is completely different. This is a very simple scene that is running at about 40 to 50 FPS on my MacBook screen. On a Full HD monitor, the exact same scene is running at just under 60 FPS. Of course, you can change the resolution of the viewport in your settings as well to get better performance. Up until yesterday, I was still working in version 503 as I needed Lumen to be reliable. And in that version, things like grass or trees have been an issue. Especially the mega scan trees were absolutely unusable, at least for me. But now, look for yourself. To sum it up, Yes, Unreal is now actually usable on Mac. So should you be getting a Mac specifically for Unreal Engine? Well, no, absolutely not. No one that wants to use Unreal is getting a Mac because in that sector, any comparable Windows machine is about 50% the price of a MacBook. But that's not the point. Creative people have MacBooks, at least a large number of them. And if you have a decent MacBook like the one with the M1 Max chip, you can now actually use it to create something. It's reliable. It works. So if you are a beginner or even a pro, you should absolutely watch this next video.